Back in 2017, I was immersed in the production of my web series called The Vagabond. However, as an independent filmmaker working solo, I encountered a major setback during one of our filming sessions. I very stupidly had failed to pay close attention to the gain knob on my field mixer, resulting in extremely low captured audio. There was nothing. That's weird, Adam. And when I tried to increase the volume during post-production, it only amplified the unwanted noise from a distant road and the sound of nearby chirping birds. I told you not to ditch NASA, they're not gonna take. What? Holy shit. and this is the thing you couldn't talk about, right? Seeking a solution, I turned to a friend who happened to be an audio specialist and he took a stab at fixing the file and this is quite literally the text exchange we had. At the time, in 2017, this was the final outcome. It was weird, Adam. He looked at me almost as a friend and then... We did. That's what got me confused. No, Adam, I told you not to ditch NASA. They're not gonna take. What? Holy shit, and this is the thing you couldn't talk about, right? It was possible, but there was definitely a discernible drop in overall audio clarity. Fast forward to 2023, and we have the incredible power of DaVinci Resolve's AI voice isolation. And when I apply this technology to the same problematic audio file, the results were mind blowing. It was weird, Adam. He looked to me almost as a friend, and then we did. That's what got me confused. No, Adam, I told you not to ditch NASA. They're not going to take. What? Holy shit, and this is the thing you couldn't talk about, right? If you're unfamiliar with DaVinci Resolve's voice isolation tool, it was only recently added, I believe it was in version 18, and it's an AI-powered tool that is able to detect your voice and remove unwanted background noise. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the video quality has dropped, and it's because we're filming on my phone inside of a loud truck with the aircon on, and it's been able to limit all of this and produce somewhat decent results for a phone recording. So it's not just professional filmmakers that can take advantage of this tool, content creators too, if all you have is your phone to record on. Now, this got me thinking, with the number of external sounds that this tool can remove, is this still a necessity for such discrete audio preparation, bringing all of the right equipment, finding a location that doesn't have background noise or construction going on, or perhaps there's a flight path near, because if you think about it, on the video side, we have seen a number of tools drop off the radar over the last 10 years. A great card, no longer needed. Now most cameras shoot in RAW. ND filters, I never bring them with me. They're built into the camera. Even uh, the shoulder rig sometimes stays home with how impressive in-body stabilization can be on some mirrorless cameras. So we're gonna put this tool to the test. We're heading to the coast. It's a very windy day as well as a hot day. And we're gonna see if it's able to completely discredit the wind in some audio recording. And the goal is to determine whether this technology could eliminate the need for a blimp. And a blimp is one of these, a microphone cover resembling a large hollow pearl shaped cage. Now without the blimp, the wind's force is undeniably overpowering, rendering the audio unusable. So a field recording is a recording produced from outside of the studio environment and taking sounds that are naturally made. However, once the blimp is employed, it's almost as if the wind ceases to exist, as if there's no wind at all. It is produced by sounds that happen outside of a studio environment and ones that happen in the natural world. So that could be the rustling of leaves, um, birdsong, the audio becomes very clear and undisturbed. So curious to witness Resolve's voice isolation tool in action, we're gonna import this audio file into DaVinci Resolve and see if the wind could be completely nullified from the take without the blimp. These are the final results. Made, which could be the sounds of leaves, the sounds of the ocean, the birds, or just natural. Unfortunately, as you can hear, the results are very less than satisfactory. The AI algorithm struggled to distinguish the wind from the voice due to the sheer power of the wind. So consequently, when filming in a windy location, AI will likely offer little assistance. And in such circumstances, guys, it is advisable to rely on other sound protection measures 
rather than solely relying on AI technology. So continuing our journey at the same location, just a few minutes down the path is a less windy location. However, in the background, we can hear a farmer engrossed in their work, likely operating machinery such as a tractor, and the noise generated by the machinery is quite prominent and the microphone picks it up. Having a sound library is a really good idea because it's just a really good way to keep organized and you can just pluck out any sound. Given that we're using a shotgun microphone with a narrow pickup pattern, a simple solution presents itself. We simply just ask the subject to reposition themselves so that the microphone faces away from the background noise. And now by doing so, we can hear that it's effectively minimized the noise interference. Of creating a lot easier because you have your own bank of sounds and yeah, you have all your own recordings. However, what if we're in a position where that isn't possible? Perhaps we really need to see the scenery behind the subject in the direction of the tractor, or perhaps we need the shot this specific time because of the lighting conditions. Well, let's explore how AI handles the removal of the tractor noise in this case. Again, one simple click and resolve. Having a sound library is a really good idea because it's just a really good way to keep organized and you can just pluck out any sound. And remarkably, it performs quite well. In fact, I would say it's very difficult to detect the tractor noise at all in the background. Therefore, in situations like this, where time is of the essence, we now have the option to rectify such issues in post-production. However, there is sometimes a trade-off when removing background noise from voice audio. The voice may become slightly compressed now to shed light on this a little better, we've consulted our resident audio expert who shared the following insight. Hey Lewis, so when removing noise from voice audio, sound quality can be adversely affected due to two primary reasons. Firstly, overprocessing occurs when noise removal settings can be overly aggressive, which results in the removal of noise and portions of the original voice signal. This excessive processing can lead to audio that sounds muffled, hollow or thin. Secondly, the complexity and variability of real world audio present inherent limitations. Different types of noise such as constant background hum, sudden bursts of sound or overlapping speech pose challenges in accurately isolating the noise from the desired voice signal. Consequently, achieving an optimal balance between noise reduction and preserving the original audio quality becomes a challenge for algorithms. So we've explored some challenges that we've encountered in an outdoor setting, but what about interior locations? Well, in this particular scene, our subject is situated near a running fridge, causing an audible electronic hum in the background. I'm sorry, what? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, that, the price is way too high you're gonna have to negotiate with them to go lower. Ideally, we would just turn off the fridge or position the actress away from the source to mitigate the noise. When we turn off the fridge, the audio becomes sorry, perfect, what? devoid of any unwanted hum. No, no, sorry, the, the price is way too high. You, you're gonna have to- However, if you did leave the fridge on, perhaps by accident, the distinct hum persists in the background when recording. At this point, we could deploy the dehum tool, which is found in various non-linear editing software. And while the results obtained this tool are generally decent, they require sorry, adjusting what? multiple parameters to achieve a somewhat satisfactory outcome. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, what? Now, here no, comes no, no, the no. remarkable part. Again, just using DaVinci Resolve's AI voice I'm isolation sorry, tool. No, 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 no. Sorry, that, the price is way too high. You're going to have to the negotiate with them. The hum is practically lower. removed. So the AI technology proves highly effective in this case, successfully eliminating the unwanted noise and producing clean audio. Nonetheless, if we add the oven's extractor fan to the scene, while well, the AI can remove the unwanted noise. I'm sorry, what? No, 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 no. The price is way too high. You, you're going to have to negotiate to go lower. The dialogue again appears to be as if it's been processed too much, giving us that hollow sound. So with that example, I think we might have been slightly too lenient. I mean, a fridge hum, you know, it, it's not the most uh, penetrating sound to have in an audio file. Many a plugin can possibly move that fridge hum. But 
I was thinking on a day like this, which is relatively hot, sunny, a lot of people are out cutting their grass. And it's one of the worst things to have going on in the background if you're filming a short film at your friend's house or making some content in a local neighborhood and there are hedge cutters, lawn mowers going off in the background. Let's see how Resolve's voice isolation tool fares in that regard. In this circumstance, with this much extreme noise, I would almost instantly look at it and say this is an ADR session. No, 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 no. The price is way too high. You're going to need to negotiate to go lower. However, let's just have a look how Resolve's voice isolation tool holds up. I'm sorry, what? No, 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 no. The price is way too high. You're going to need to negotiate. The result is insane. I would not believe that we are right next to a busy road and right next to a lawnmower going at full speed. This tool from Resolve does deserve special mention. Its capabilities are extraordinary as it effectively removes many unwanted background sounds. I will believe it will soon become a standard component in the workflow of amateur filmmakers. Nonetheless, it is important to note that this tool does have its limitations. Depending on the severity of the unwanted noise, the processing applied to the speaker's voice may introduce undesirable effects, necessitating dubbing or extensive post-production work to restore quality. Therefore, I recommend in taking proactive measures to minimize nuisance noise as much as possible and using the appropriate audio equipment before recording. That is always going to triumph fixing it in post, but when you are in a pinch and you do really need to get that shot despite the background noise, now you might just be able to save yourself an ADR session.